looks so cute together. It sucks I wasn't paying attention because I was watching a lot of language videos, but this is a Bronx tale. Oh, she's a gorgeous girl. <laughs> and his eyes are his eyes are gorgeous. Oh. It's amazing because this is in the 1960s because this is supposed to be in New York, right? Basically, being black is way more accepted back then than the rest of the country, you know, during... Well, this is like after like Martin Luther King got assassinated, if I should recall. And I'm guessing these boys or these men here basically didn't like him. I make mean, because he's in a mafia and while well, him being Italian and I don't like the looks of this because they're gonna attack him. Shit, that was fucked up of those men to do that. Really, it's awful. And Downtown Abbey, interesting. So, the reason why I want to share this, I apologize that the quad is kind of bad if I got to charge up my charger, is because after looking at that scene, because I never got the chance to watch a Bronx Tale because of how I basically seen it on and off throughout basically the telly, give or take, or the television, I have been really curious when it comes to talking about basically mixed couples or people in different ethnicities, give or take. After looking up a man's channel called Walter, I can't pronounce his name. It's W O U. No. Darn it. It's basically W O U T E I. Um, I basically had to share something when it comes to basically us humans coming from like different ethnic backgrounds and. You know, coming from other cultures, give or take, and even the languages, which is my favorite part. Basically, for me, I was watching that scene because of how, I'm guessing, um, that boy, whatever his name is, that actually kind of got money from the mafia and how his father doesn't want him to actually work with them because they're just bad news. Kind of makes sense because that's how it is in New York back then. Um, this is incredible of how... Basically, the boy, he actually gets mistreated just because he was actually going out with a girl that's black. And it makes me really happy to see that because... Boy, I should change my shirt because I'm... Basically, I'm wearing my gown, so to speak. So, yeah. So, yeah. Gown, so to speak. It means basically dress in the Indonesian language. Um, I gotta learn my Indonesian um, more often. The thing is that I'm guessing he gets treated differently just because... He actually is dating someone that is of a different group than him. And for me growing up, so to speak, because I love learning a lot of languages, right? And I grew up in a, in a city that is basically just about half Mexican. You know, mitad americano or colanta peseto, mas colanta peseto, give or take, right? Um, it just fascinates me of how I would see people that are dating someone with a different um, skin pigment than them. Than them. Because of how, how I'm gonna explain this. A lot of people tend to think that you should just date someone of your own race, right? Especially when it comes to like, and you know, um, Nihon, um, Tongoyo, so to speak. Um, like in the Japanese and, and the Chinese culture, especially the Chinese culture, it's kind of seen frowned upon if you date someone that is like a different skin color than you. Even though in Nihon, which means in Japan, for example, right? If you actually can see my shirt up there, that's basically the, basically the Japanese flag. Pardon me for talking so fast because I get nervous and I'm not sure what the heck I'm talking about. Um, a lot of people tend to think that you should not just basically date someone of a different race, right? Basically a skin pigment. Sorry, ugh. I'm trying to be confident on what to say for this topic. Because of how being in a, in a homogeneous country... You basically are just seen as weird if you actually date someone of a different skin color because of how it's considered as taboo, right? And I just don't get why people actually had to look someone differently just because of that. It just doesn't make sense to me because for me personally growing up... Oh boy, I gotta see. <coughs> Excuse me. For me growing up... I hate when it happens. I've always liked to date someone that's a different skin color to me. 
That's because, well, I basically have friends growing up that are Mexican, and my, one of my first crushes being Mexican and whatnot, and I guess thing I haven't been accepted that much that easily just because, you know, being black. I'm guessing these. Thank you. No, I mean, Motoglasi. Oh, great. No. He <gasps> That's fucked up. His friends just had to attack him? Really? Just because he's black? You know what's so funny, though? Because this is why we actually have this type of crime here. In the United States, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, for anyone that's black like me, it's awful that we had to experience stuff like this. Even though it's not right that we had to treat someone different that's like white or basically Hispanic differently. This is definitely no excuse that no matter where you come from, this is not okay. And I feel bad because for us that are blacks, even though there are blacks like us, that are racist, I'm sure I am not for sure, it's awful to see that for decades, even perhaps centuries, we basically had to go do this crap. You know, that's because we're seen as the inferior race. The music is gorgeous, by the way. Man, this is not gonna be good. Cause you know what? Since his friends are basically talking these um you know these black boys for no reason, it's gonna come back to them. Oh man. I have I I mean I only see parts of this movie by the way. Okay, I'm still trying to learn more about it. But if I actually recall, they definitely did got their revenge because of his friends, um you know, um, attacking a minority group like this. And for anyone that's black, I'm sure you know where I'm coming from. Because for me personally, you know, after having my, my crushes in school that I'm Mexican, and I prefer to date someone of a different skin color to me, even though I love black boys myself. I'm not talking about just like America. I'm talking about like Caribbean, um, maybe Ghanaian. I don't, I, I don't know. Okay, I haven't explored that much of like, blacks in other countries, even though there's like a couple men that I met in the past, you know, they're older, they're Ethiopian, gorgeous men, honestly, you talk about like African, right? But like North African, um, it just, it just blows my brain cells that this stuff actually happens out here in the U.S. That's all I'm You gotta do what your heart tells you to do. I'm gonna tell you something right now, you're only allowed three great women in your lifetime. They come along like the great fighters once every 10 years. Rocky Marciano, Sugar Ray Robinson, Joe Lewis. Sometimes you get them all at once. Me? I had my three when I was 16. That happens. What do you know about? Sorry, I'm just Sugar like Rose, learning. Right? I'm trying to learn more Sugar about the. It's called a Bronx Cal. Maybe this girl, she pulled wind of your cells. Maybe she's your first great one. Thanks a lot, son. I think I'm going to go for it. She's a good kid, this girl. I don't know. I just met her yesterday, but I hope so. I like yeah, his mole on his left cheek. Don't let anybody go. It's all right. I'm gonna lend you my car. Once you make a good impression, you borrow my car, and then you give her the test. What? The Mario test? What do you listen to this kid for? You give her my test. You give her the door test. What's the door test? All right. Listen to me. You pull her right where she is, right? Before you get out of the car, you lock both doors. Then you get out of the car. You walk over to her. You bring her over to the car. You take out the key, put it in the lock, open the door for her. Then you let her get in. Then you close the door for her. Then you walk around the back of the car and you look through the rear window. If she doesn't reach over, lift up that button for you. So you can get in, dump her. Just like that? Listen to me, kid. If she doesn't reach over, lift up that button for you. So you can get in. That means she's a selfish broad. And all you've seen is the tip of the iceberg. You dump her, you dump her fast. Yeah, what about all the beautiful things you just told me, though? Do what my heart tells me to do. It's all that matters. Find someone to pull into myself. I mean, hey, this could be one of the great ones. The door test, that's what counts. If you dump her, you dump her fast. Dump her? Dump her. Hmm. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out, let me scoot to the legacy. 
I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. And yeah, media teleno, moto probably. Can I ask you something? Yeah. I need your opinion about something. You know Joey also from down the block? Yeah. Yeah, he asked me what I thought about him going out with a color girl. What do you think about that? What's the matter? Joey also can't find any white girls. It's not a good answer, Dad. What's the problem? You know me, I get along with everybody on the bus, but when it comes to marriage, I just think we should marry within our own, that's all. Mm. You know, I'm not prejudiced. Hey, Dad, you're not prejudiced. Don't tell me you're not prejudiced. That is prejudice. What would you say if I want to go out with a colored girl? Well, you would never do that. Oh, I think he said color, not colored. You only allow three great women in your lifetime, you know what I'm saying? Who told you that? Uh, Joey also. Joey also? Mm. Well, you tell Joey also. Sometimes in the heat of passion, the little head tells the big head what to do, and that the big head should think twice about it. Right. Be careful. <sighs> Man. It just, it just blows my, my mind. Really? He's doing that, the little Home Alone reference. Both out the screen. And when he did that, oh, nothing cuter than a boy that does that, honestly. And... Honestly, I, I, I hate saying this, but like, if I ever meet like a, a stereotypical Italian boy that has a muscle shirt with his like pecs and he's kind of tall or maybe average height, I would probably blush if I were to see that, give or take. I don't know why, but I love when boys wear muscle shirts. It's hot as hell. I think I need to bring this up very quick. There was this boy that I did chat, chat. he was 18 at the time, right? I mean, well, this is probably like a couple months ago, give or take. Um, that was Mexican. He was really tall, like six foot one or something. I didn't got his name, unfortunately, and he wanted to just, just remove me on, on Snapchat or whatnot. I was using an anonymous account. He blocked me for some odd reason because, um, we met on Amigo, so to speak, and he decided to add me because of basically preferences that I wanted to share on there. And he's the one that got, got me interested in the ukrainian and russian war um he was basically a boy that kind of like wear like a muscle shirt and he would like do like a beat up from stretching and seeing his boner or whatever it was kind of hot um i actually had feelings for him because of how sweet and friendly he was and not to mention i, I liked him because of how you know friendly he is not just because he's mexican even though that was a plus as well um he was just a boy that I actually liked and it kind of reminds me of how that boy, right, in that scene was dressing, give or take. I'm not good at names. And not to mention, it's really cute to see men that, that have dogs. Oh, my goodness. I, I apologize for my, my, my thoughts all over the place. The point of this, this topic is just me watching a Bronx Tale for the first time, kind of, because I haven't watched, like, the whole movie, to see of how rough it is to be a minority in the Bronx, right? Even though being black is way more accepting in the Northeast than, let's just say, in the Deep South. Maybe the Southwest. I don't know that much about our black history, though, because if you see, like, in black and white movies, black actors are treated as insects, give or take, right? Of how they would be, like, maids, or they basically talk ghetto and not educated, which is really anticlimactic to actually see because that's how it was in Hollywood back then, which is really heartbreaking because we're not like that, so to speak, right? And plus, this is coming from someone that has white heritage. Well, white descent, right? I don't know what, like, what white ethnic group that we actually have because my great, my mom's um, great-great-grandfather is full white, while an, uh, another great-great grandfather of hers is full-blood Jamaican, so we're really diverse, right? That's why you probably noticed that I'm pretty light-skinned for being black, if you actually can tell. Um, it's just incredible of how we would basically mistreat one another just because we basically come from different backgrounds. And I was just shocked to see, like, how racism in this movie, it's a really good movie, so to speak, um was a huge problem and this is during the late 60s you're not talking about like the 1950s here you're talking about the late 60s after basically martin luther king jr who's the one that did the speech i have a dream got assassinated i forgot why though i should know more about this but i don't know that much about him now because 
All I know is that he was born in the South and he did his speech in D.C. before he actually got murdered, if I actually got that correct. And this is a great movie so far because this still happens today that basically for someone like me that's black, we're treated less. Even though this happens to all ethnicities, all. But the thing is, it's mostly targeted towards blacks because we're seen it as a threat. I don't understand why, though. It This doesn't make sense. It's kind of like reminds me when I would go to the grocery store or the convenience store. I had instances of being with profile because of how the cashiers didn't want me to put my backpack nearby the door where anyone can snatch it. While if you see someone as white or Hispanic slash Latino, they won't get caught out and they will bring like a big backpack themselves. It's ridiculous. I don't understand it, right? Like I'm just there to actually buy a drink and then just leave. You know, plus there's surveillance cameras. I would easily will go to jail if I was still something. I just don't get it. So, you know, after just watching this movie so far, it's it's impressive that racism is still a thing. And for me personally, I oh there she is. I this is what I want to experience in my life. Like this scene right here. Like me being that girl, walking to a cute bar I like. So, my brother got beat up in your neighborhood. What are you talking about? Yesterday, some Italian guys beat up my brother in your neighborhood. So what's that have to do with me? Were you there? No, I wasn't there. Yeah, you Come were. On, so please don't lie to me. Gina, I'm telling the truth. I wasn't Gina, there. Gina, that's her name. My brother's in a car. I told him I was going out with an Italian, so he came along. Mm. He recognized you and said you were the one that beat him up. You did that to his face. Jane, I didn't touch your brother. I swear to God. Believe me, I didn't touch him. Okay, we'll see. Wait! Okay, basically, he made a lie. You know, his friends beat him up, but he didn't speak up, though. Even though he didn't do anything wrong. So, this is the problem, though. He's basically... Hold on. I don't go much time left. Really? He didn't do anything. No. He was there, but he didn't. Hold on. Okay, at least he didn't use the nick er word. That word, I don't like. That's a slavery term. Nigga, though, which is really common, that I don't mind. Kinda. Right? I don't use it. That's why. But the thing is, what this is what I don't like about like us black sometimes, even though that is a huge problem if we get targeted, is how we actually play as victims. Like, he didn't do anything. You know, the, the boy that Gina has seen us now... He, he's innocent, right? It's just like his damn pals, they're fucking crooks because of what they did. But you know what? It just sucks because I would never play a victim just because I'm a, I'm a minority myself. And for me personally, I've always wanted to date someone that's a different um, race than me because I want to learn more about the cultures or where they come from, like, like how they basically practice their traditions and their families based off of their cultures. And just not being afraid to date someone that's a different skin color, right? So I just want to share this because if you actually notice by all the flags I have hanging up in the wall, minus the drawings, basically for me, I'm into like other cultures, like the German culture, since I'm part Jamaican, definitely the Jamaican culture, the Irish culture especially, and even the Ukrainian culture. So that's something I just wanted to share because... It's awful that this is like an actual thing um, here in the U.S., especially the rest of the globe. Not to mention the United Kingdom, I'm sure that's an instant issue. Or hell, even like in France when it comes to xenophobia, but um, I just had to just share that. It's a really good movie so far. But yeah, um, I don't know. I hope that this video explains pretty decently because I'm trying to get used to talking more because I'm just learning a lot about how racism and basically gang violence is a, it's a huge issue when it comes to watching this movie, A Bronx Tale. I saw you driving Sonny's car. I don't want you driving this car around. I don't like that. I don't care if you're not in the mood to hear. We already had that thing about the bikers and our fight in that bar. 
And I don't want you in that bar. I told you, Dad. What was I going to do? Run away? Make people think I got no heart? You think those guys really care what you got heart or not? I mean, what makes you think you're so special? You almost saw me.